Hey, you all. Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the West. More specifically, we are in Hollywood, California. Now last night, just last night, less than 24 hours ago, I was in, uh, I was in Florida. I was at the uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. But a lot, a lot can change in 24 hours. This morning, I hopped aboard an airplane. The airplane flew across the United States of America and landed here in Southern California. And I'm very excited. I, one of my favorite places to go for Halloween is the Southern California area. There's so much fun happening here during the Halloween season. That's what I will be enjoying for the next several days. Now, just I think it was just six days ago, if I calculate correctly, that I was at uh, the Universal Studios Orlando and did their Halloween Horror Nights event. And I love I love going to both events. I love seeing both events. Now, some of the houses have the same themes; they're named after the same properties, but they're, they're completely unique. Sometimes they're they're just absolutely completely different. The two different teams, the one in Florida. The one in California, they, they give their own vision to that property, so it's really fun to to see how how the different uh, different teams interpret interpret those uh, the movies and turn them into houses of horror. So I'm really excited, really excited to see what they have to offer here in Hollywood. I'm excited to be here in Hollywood. Like I said, lots more spooky fun coming this week. So uh, please follow me. So we head through City Walk towards the park, see King Kong hanging there above all of us. And here we go, heading into the gates. I think the gates in Florida are bigger. I've never been to the, the two parks so close to each other. All right, here we go. Headed in. Look at this big pile of stuffed animals there. Look who's on top. Oh, it's the Yeti. See the flames shooting out of the entrance there. Some more toys over here. I don't know who this guy is. It's like some sort of evil genie. Yeah, it seems to be a toy theme here on the uh, on the main drag. Got the dummy there st stabbing that teddy bear with a knife. No way. This old witch here putting the screws to a baby doll. I think we're gonna head right on to the terror tram. It says that there is a, a very low wait time. Definitely love the terror tram here at uh, Hollywood. Universal Studios, they don't have a tram in, uh, in Florida, so this is, gives an interesting, uh, it kind of gives you an interesting look at the back lot, it takes you on the back lot, and it's full of scares as well. So I guess this year it's called the Exterminator, so there's an exterminating theme with the tram tour, the terror tram. Actually the daytime tram tour is even more terrifying as it features Jimmy Fallon. Here's the t-shirt for this year's Terror Tram. Someone said that, uh, someone said that uh, Larry Larva looked like me. I don't know, what do, you, <laughs> what do you guys think? Oh, there's Larry Larva there. He doesn't, he doesn't look that much like me, does he? Oh, here it comes. Here comes the Terror Tram. Oh yeah, plenty of open room here on the old Terror Tram. If you have an emergency of any kind, please Yeah, whoever said Larry Larva looks like me, I feel like, I feel like that was insulting. Welcome aboard to say that, right? But this time tonight, it has a different feel to it. Beautiful view of Hollywood up here. I didn't know we're going to be dealing with bugs. I got to think about bugs. This is as far as I'm going. But guess what? Gather up your principal belongings. All right, let's head right in here. Oh, bugs! It's chainsaws! Oh, fly! What does a fly need to 
chainsaw for Oh my gosh. Oh, watch out! There's another. Oh, look at that. All right. These are real movie cars right here. Oh, there's a rat. A rat man over here by the movie cars. Hey, ratty! How are you doing? <laughs> uh, careful. Careful around those expensive movies. Oh, no rats. This is Universal Auto. Oh! Over here at the motel, it says Motel de las Cucarachas, the cockroach motel. It looks like the cockroaches have taken over the Bates Motel. Oh, there's the man himself! Larry Larva, how are you doing, buddy? Oh, man, people say we look alike. <laughs> oh, it's absolutely infested here. And she's covered in covered in roaches there. We can keep these dead. One hundred percent guaranteed. Oh, there's Larry. Your money back. Me and the devil's faithful. Oh, there's an influencer. Oh, he's murdering the influencer. Oh, what are you doing there? Melting a human in that barrel. Oh, he's eating roaches. Why? Hey, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, look at this big, tall, big, tall insect here. Oh my goodness. All right, that was fun. I only got four hours of sleep last night. That finally got my, finally got my heart pumping. And there on the hill behind the Bates Motel, we have uh, Norman Bates' house. Let's go say hello to Norman. How are you doing, Norman? <laughs> He's doing good. Good. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Kind of a quiet guy. That Norman. All right, heading into Spider Alley. Hey, Larry. Oh, nice. Some, got some good dancing there. Oh, big Spider Man. Well, not Spider Man. Spider Man, Spider Man, but. A man is also a spider. Uh, oh, I love this area out here. This is where they have the crash, the actual plane crash. I think this is from uh, War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise. Oh, what happened to your face? Oh no! Ah, oh, jeez! Oh my God! You see the crashed plane wing right there? Yeah, this is. Oh, look, there's a guy hanging out. Hanging out of the cockpit. Hey, buddy. You got a wasp? Oh, you got the, your little baby? You got, oh, look, the baby's a larva. Oh, your baby sprayed me. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. It's payback time. Hey, Larry. I've got the one thing no human pest can resist. Oh, you sprayed me. Oh. Quit spraying me with that poison! Stop. He literally was spraying me with poison. Oh yeah, look at the plane crash. No! Why is she crying? Oh, her face is melted! That's why she's crying. Ah, the larva baby there in the shopping cart. Ah, oh, it's amazing. Oh, the do -si do Oh, I didn't know he was going to run at me. It's a colony. The hatchery in here. Oh, they're up some bugs. Oh, jeez. All right, this is so cool. Headed into Jupiter's clay, and this is the actual set used in the movie Nope. Oh, yeah, it's like an old Wild West town. They got a Wild West amusement park in the movie. Oh, you see him pointing up at the sky. A big inflatable cowboy there. Oh no, it's an us from the us. <laughs> oh, what not with the scissors? This is so cool here. Love this part of the park. It's like a, I wish I could hang out in this amusement park here. This. Oh man! Oh no! <laughs> Look, she's stirring the 
stirring the teacup from uh, from Get Out. Yeah, from Get Out. <laughs> oh no 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 no! no, no, no. Oh, look at that, selling these little alien plushies. I wish they really sell those. <laughs> oh, look at all these us's from us. Oh my goodness. gonna jump out of this porta potty at me. No, I'm good. Oh my gosh. Is that a real people? I don't know. Alright, and our terror tram awaits. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. Love the uh, love the original theming. The exterminator theme. Love when they kind of get creative with their own, uh, your own unique ideas. So yeah, Larry Larva and the Exterminator is kind of a, a, a bugs. I guess bugs exterminating humans being the theme. All right, our night is just getting started. Get some photo ops with Santa. Hey Santa. You've been naughty or nice this year. Uh, I've been pretty good. Pretty good. It's been a pretty good year for me. Yeah, well, you got a couple months to see if we can make that actually good. All right. So we gotta get a. Yeah, here. Here. All right, a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, keep up, you too. Keep up the good work. Yeah, you got a little something on your beard. It's been a rough day, I'll tell you. It's been a rough day at the office. A lot of naughty folks to deal with out there. All right, well, keep up the good work. Yeah, you have a scary Christmas and a crappy New Year, all right? Crappy? Night has fallen here on Universal Studios, and the flames are only getting higher. Oh, you're so creepy! Look at your face! Oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> oh, yeah, the monsters are out. The scare zones are active. Oh, look at this giant crow! Giant crow here! Oh. Alright, I think it's time to check out some of the indoor haunts. And I think we'll start the night with Evil Dead Rise. So I do try to do my homework when it comes to Halloween Horror Nights. So I did watch Evil Dead Rise. It was okay. It was it was a spooky, gory movie. I, I don't. I, I I struggled with the fact that um, that Ash is not in the Evil Dead movies. I just I don't know. Immediately associate the character of Ash Williams with the Evil Dead movies, and I think it's interesting to try to remake those without him. It seems like they could they could still be a good movie, but maybe it's just hard to give that name to something that does not have the character of Ash in it. This is interesting too because they did not have this. This is one of the few IPs or intellectual properties that did not appear at the Florida Horror Night. So let's check this out. All right, let's head in. We enter through this hallway here. It looks like a hospital. This actually used to be the year-round walking dead haunt. You enter through the hospital here. We see the elevator there. Someone's all tied up in elevator cords. Now. Oh my goodness. Oh no! Oh! Gee, oh, she splattered through the backwater. The haunted bedroom here. Oh, look at that. NFTs. That's really scary. Over here to the Purge Dangerous Waters. This is kind of the holiday overlay of the Waterworld show, which I saw for the first time earlier this year, and it was absolutely amazing. So looking forward to checking out uh, the spooky version of the Waterworld show. See the Waterworld 
jet skis there. All right, everyone filling up the Water World Arena here. This could, this could be a lot of fun. Oh, wow. It's intense. Got a photo op, but look, it's the bride. How are you? How's your uh, how's your husband doing? Oh no, 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 okay. I'm sorry, didn't mean to bring that up. All right, it's okay if we get a, get a photo again. Oh, <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, we're gonna get a lesson in international monsters here. This is monstrous, the monsters of Latin America. Some of the Latin American monsters here that we'll be learning about. Oh, look at the side there. Got some lightning. There's a little owl poking out of the window up there. Oh, looking around. Oh yeah, look at this. The grave digger out front. That is so cool. Digging through the grave soil there. All right, heading into Monstrous. Oh, what are you? The bird woman here. Oh, jeez. What does that say? Oh, she's got a baby. Some sort of owl woman here. Oh my gosh! What is this? Oh, look at that! Look at that! Oh my gosh! That was amazing. Creature. Oh, I need to look up if the I need to look up the history behind some of these creatures here. Oh, we're at the Policaria. The port. What happened in here? Oh, who's this? Oh no! Oh. <laughs> into the scare zone here. Oh, very cool. Oh my goodness. Oh, I really loved that. I would need to, I wanted to go back and do some research on exactly what sort of creatures or legends or cryptids that were. How are you doing there, buddy? <laughs> Really spooky. But look at these cool marionettes. Oh, look at that machete. Whoa! That grave digger just like threw a ninja kick. Okay, I wanted to take a peek at this. The uh, Blumhouse behind the scenes experience. It's here in the Kung Fu Panda Adventure Theater. Just scan our ticket here with Pinocchio. Walk along back here. Oh my God! It's the it's that creepy guy from the black phone. What is he called? The the snatcher back there? 
Don't snatch me. Oh. <laughs> Some of the costumes here. This is, okay, he's the grabber, I'm sorry. This is the grabber from the black phone. But this is unbelievable here. This is the uh, Five Nights from Freddy's costumes. We have the upcoming movie on Peacock. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. Now, I'm not the, uh, not the, uh, not, I've not, not played these games a whole lot, but I absolutely love the idea of the creepy haunted animatronics. And these are so amazing here. This is Foxy. And then that is Freddy there of Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, so these were actually used in the movie and they look they're so cool in person. Chica there with the cupcake. Oh yeah, these are all pretty amazing. Here is uh, Bonnie there, the rabbit with the electric guitar. These are all amazing. Yeah, take another look at that cupcake there. These are so cool. Um, oh and man. Also the mask they do Hawk Wars. You know, I have a lot of uh, the, uh, viewers out there that here. do enjoy these uh, uh, video games. They're probably looking forward to the movie. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that. It's a very, very spooky animatronic movie. All right, we have a black phone photo op. Hey, it's the Grabber. How are you doing, Grabber? I think I called him the Snatcher outside. Oh, yeah. No, don't keep me in your basement. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Grabber. Oh, look at that. It's an actual, actual doll used in the movie Megan. That is so creepy. Look at her dead eyes. Oh, my goodness. It's the actual Megan right there. All right, they, All right I guess we're gonna head in here and uh, watch, a, uh, watch a movie. <laughs> Without further ado, from the experts in horror, we welcome you to a sneak peek to the world of Blumhouse. Roll that clip! Oh, he's so getting murdered. So there's technical difficulty. Somebody call tech services. The film stopped. Who's there? Oh, who's... Uh, is that Megan? Megan? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, jeez. Maggots in here. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no, there's one more of them. How are you doing, Megan? Oh, it's really close to my eye. Oh. Right, we gotta head into Hogsmeade to find our next haunts. Oh, I think there may be some Death Eaters in this uh, alley. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a Death Eater. Absolutely gorgeous there in the moonlight. Oh, 
Is that, is that Voldemort's face? Or maybe just a creepy skull there on the tower? And this way we have houses and not the kind that people live in either. All right, now we're gonna check out their version of Chucky. Had a lot of fun in the Chucky house in Orlando. We'll see how, uh, how this one compares. We enter here through the Good Guy Factory. You can see the piles of Chucky boxes there out front. Here we go. from the Florida one. I loved how this one used so many different animatronics. That's amazing. I want to go back through there. Oh my gosh, that is so good. I got the, the front of line for, for one, one at a time, so I, I, I would have to wait like three hours to go back in there. But that I, I think that might be the best. Night is still young, that might be the best haunt. The best haunt I've done so far tonight. I really like the Latin American monsters. That was next level. Oh my gosh, one of the best haunts I've ever seen. All right, but no slowing down. We got, uh, next up, the Universal Monsters Unmasked, which actually uses some of the lesser known Universal Monsters. You got the Invisible Man, you got the Phantom of the Opera, the Hunchback of Notre Dame, and uh, Do no no Dr. Jekyll, and uh, I guess Mr. Hyde is the scary one. So this was a cool maze in Florida. I I'm, I'm excited to see what they do with this one. And 60 feet below the surface, your screams will be as silent as the graves. Oh my goodness. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. David, Madame we head inside the catacombs here. This is a giant newspaper. This is a catacomb open today. <laughs> oh, who are you? <laughs> Well, that's not going well. Oh, there's Mr. Hyde! 
happening in June. The Cabaret de la Mort. Enter and be dead and say. Well, there's the Invisible Man. The show's about to start. I hear it's to die. interesting here. I, I was not uh, expecting to see him here. Look at this little boo. The pumpkin from Florida made his way all the way here to Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood. You made it big little guy. Oh come on. There. Oh don't poke me. Hey Teddy, how are you doing? Oh, he was gonna hug me, but then he changed his mind. Now the final four houses are down at the lower lot. Terrifying, massive escalator here. Takes us down the side of a mountain. Some of the big IP intellectual property houses down here. Let's check out the last of us. And this is actually technically based on the video game, not the TV show. But I, th I think they're very similar. It's weird seeing a oh, yeah. no soldiers. Joel and Ellie out here in front. This is what most Houston's look like. This place has been abandoned for a while now. Alright, headed to the Pittsburgh military zone. Okay, we need to like leave. Oh, that guy's infected, I think. Oh, there you go. To you. Don't die on me! Place in here. What is going on? 
lot of demons. Next up, we take a holiday. A holiday to hell. All right, happy new year. Oh my goodness, and a toast to you. Go through all the different holidays here. It's actually a returning haunt. I really like this one. Oh, look at that. A skeleton and a glass of champagne. Is that baby, baby new year there? They get to the tunnel of love for Valentine's Day, I guess. We're going through the whole year here. <laughs> Fireworks there. Pumpkin smile. Oh, look at all the pumpkin face weirdos in here. Here we have Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, look, everyone's been murdered. Oh, there's Krampus. And we end the night by heading into Stranger Things. So this house features the villain Vecna from the most recent uh, season of Stranger Things. We enter here through Eddie Munson's trailer. Here up on the porch. Oh, there's Chrissy, the cheerleader. Can you hear me? Thank you for joining me here tonight at Halloween Horror Nights here in Hollywood, California. It's all a whirlwind, really. In 24 hours, going from Florida's Mickey's Not So Scary to Hollywood, California's <gasps> Halloween Horror Nights. But uh, I really, this was actually one of my, oh, oh, every year this is one of my favorite events of the entire year and I think this was one of the best uh, Halloween Horror Nights I've, I've been I've been to. Loved the Chucky haunt, like I said, one of the best haunts I've seen at uh, at Horror Nights and, and they did a lot of like little extra things this year that that I really appreciated. The like the Blumhouse uh, behind the scenes experience was really unique. The, the Purge 
uh, Waterworld kind of a seasonal overlay I thought was uh, was amazing. Um, yeah, just a lot of a lot of cool stuff. I had some cool photo ops. I got to meet the Bride of Frankenstein and and Megan, the evil robot. <laughs> so yeah, really really fun night here at uh, at uh, Halloween Horror Nights. And uh, yeah, so you, we're here. We're here in Southern California. Southern California Halloween is one of my favorite uh, parts of the year. I kind of try to make it a tradition every year to uh, to get out here, to fly out here, and uh, enjoy the uh, Halloween festivities a little bit. So we got some more spooky stuff coming up this week. Um, thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I'm so tired. I need to go lay down. But <laughs> if you like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country film, roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun, random stuff. Like to help support the channel, consider donating to Patreon, $3 or more. Get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop as well as doing personalized messages on Cameo. All that is in the description of this video if you're interested in that. Of course, all those things help keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.